Hey guys, this is Justin. Hello and welcome to another video. So we're once again returning to the world of the Book of Boa Fett to discuss the most recent episode, which was episode four, The Gathering Storm. I think this scene featuring Black Chrysanthemum, who I'm just going to call K from now on because I don't want to have to say that name every time, has some big implications that I've only seen some people talk about, but which could hint at the return of a major character from the Star Wars universe. Let's give some context though and talk about the gathering storm great episode and it's taken us to an interesting place the book of boba fett has now sort of used up its flashback device and by that i mean boba fett is fully healed he won't be going in his back to tank anymore so we can expect the final three episodes of this season and i say this season because i expect this will be a longer show to focus on the main conflict and we know of course that new characters will be brought in to help progress the story including din jar and most likely based on the little jingle we hear at the end of the episode however is it possible that there's a another character about to be brought in. Let's talk about this great moment between Black Chrysanthemum and the Trandoshans. Now, it's possible on a surface level that this moment simply exists so that Boba Fett can rediscover Black Chrysanthemum and hire him to work for him, but I'm going to argue that there's more depth to the scene. On one level, traditionally, Wookiees and Trandoshans have a species-wide feud against one another. The planet Trandosha is in the same system as Kashyyyk. Trandoshans would hunt Wookiees for sport, and that that continued even in years when the Wookiees were greatly oppressed, whether by the Empire or whomever else. So yeah, this scene is also a nice reference to that little bit of lore, which has of course appeared in the Clone Wars and is well known by Star Wars fans. It also hints of course to Kay's violent past, fighting in the battle pits, but I'm going to argue that the scene served a further, deeper purpose, and I can't take credit for this, this is an idea that I've seen a few people have, but in my opinion, this scene may have existed to introduce the idea of Trandoshan and Wookiee rivalry, or just generally Kay's hatred for Trandoshans to the general Star Wars fan. The random guy or gal who's watching this show but who hasn't seen the Clone Wars or read the books or who doesn't understand the rivalry. Why would the show be doing this? Well, because I think it's quite possible that alongside the Mandalorian, we also see the reintroduction of arguably the second most famous original trilogy era bounty hunter, Bosk. Bosk being in the book of Boba Fett just makes too much sense sense. For one, we know that there have long been rumors of Bosk appearing again in live action. Pretty much any time before the Book of Boba Fett that a Boba Fett film was rumored to be happening or being worked on, Bosk was always attached at the hip. And we see from the Clone Wars that that's partially because not only of the two iconic bounty hunters, but that Bosk was also instrumental in raising Boba after his father's death. Specifically in the Clone Wars, we see Bosk and Aura Singh taking care of Boba, taking him along for missions, and the two definitely have an interesting relationship. Not to say that they're necessarily friendly by the time of the Book of Boba Fett. Time has changed their dynamic. By the time of the War of the Bounty Hunter comics, they've actually become somewhat rivals. And specifically, War of the Bounty Hunter, which came out last year, shows the two in direct conflict. That being said, Bounty Hunters fighting, especially the main Bounty Hunters that we see in The Empire Strikes Back, is nothing new. And it's very possible that by the time the Book of Boba Fett comes around, the two have made peace. It even seems likely that that's the case. So, Bosk and Boba Fett could be reuniting either as enemies or as allies. I see it very possible that Boba Fett reaches out to his old mentor and protector for help in the upcoming war against the Pike Syndicate, and that the scene with Kay is meant to establish a precedent for some conflict that will arise between the two supposed allies, i.e. although Kay and Bosk will eventually be on the same side, some sort of feud will happen which will disrupt Boba Fett's plans, and that scene in episode Episode 4 is placed there for the audience, so those who don't already understand the relationship between Wookiees and Trandoshans understand it enough to get the eventual plot twist. It is also possible that we see either Bosk or perhaps another bounty hunter as an enemy. A few of you guys noticed this and commented on my episode review, but it does seem like there may be something else going on on Tatooine. Specifically, Fennec Shand seems to not believe that bikers could kill an entire 
tribe of Tusken Raiders, and she might be right. Perhaps the Pike Syndicate was actually the one who did this as a way to strike back against Boba for disrupting their spice operations, and maybe they had some bounty hunter ally like Bosk or somebody else helping, not knowing that they were in fact going up against Boba Fett. Or I'm wrong. The scene doesn't mean anything, and it's possible it just exists to show the combat prowess of Black K. However, I do also want to note the Trandoshan costumes and the Trandoshan effects in the Book of Boba Fett are the best they've ever been. I think they've taken a marked increase when compared to past works, and I do wonder whether that could be because we're going to see a Trandoshan playing in a very important role in the upcoming episodes. Just my thoughts, though, rambling a little bit. Let me know what you think. I want to hear your comments, your thoughts, your fan theories, everything down below. Until next time, guys, if you haven't already, please like this video, drop a subscribe, hit the bell if you really like the videos. Until next time, be safe, have a good one, and may the Force be with you.